Basically, that's all there is to do on one of these things. Not a whole bunch to it. Um, trying to see if I can see where this... I just eyeball this part of it, really, to be honest with you. I always do. Um, just kind of try to see where the trigger hole should go. Center it up as best you can. It's not a real big issue unless you go way too far to the sides. What we're just going to do is just take it down in. All the way through. Just come forward a little bit. Like that. And just go back a little bit. It. And that is really all there is to do on one of these, if you get a good one. If you don't have a good part to start, that can be a little problematic. There you can see the end result. So, not hard to do. Pretty simple, pretty easy. But like I said, I keep getting bad ones, so this one's not going to be functional. I just wanted to do a video to show you how you can do it with a simple mill. This is a Grizzly Model G0463 uh, milling machine. Bench top, of course. I got it in my basement. It's three access. It does everything I want it to do. But that's all there is to doing one of these. And, uh... You know, we can always take a hammer, not a lot of slop at all, pretty, pretty good fit. Moves freely, but it's still snug, so that all worked out good, and that's basically, that's it. That's all there is to machining one of these out. If you got a mill and a jig, pretty simple process, nothing to it really. So that's my video, just wanted to show you what's involved in doing this. Thank you.